Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for the Your Daily Prayer podcast. We hope these few moments of prayer and reflection are encouraging to you as you go about your day. To get all of our episodes straight to your phone during the week, just subscribe to this podcast on iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcast. To find more prayers, devotional content, and blog posts, we would love for you to join us at iBelieve.com. A Prayer for When You're Way Too Busy by Mary Sutherland And he said unto them, Come ye yourselves apart into a desert place and rest a while. Mark 6, 31 There is an antidote to busyness in Scripture. It is the simple idea of getting daily time to be with God. Daily time to just be with Him. Daily time to be quiet daily time to listen for His voice above all others. How do we pull that off? Here is a challenge for you. Spend 15 minutes a day for one month getting alone with God. Find a chair, a quiet place. Do three things in that time. Stopping. Psalm 46.10 tells us, Be still and know that I am God. I need a few minutes each day to stop and be still. I know that, just like you know that. But if we do not schedule it and practice it, it will not happen. We were not made to run nonstop 24 hours a day. We were made to stop and be still and know God. Centering. Psalm 37, 7 commands us to be still before the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Our posture while we are having this quiet time with God needs to be that of waiting. Waiting for Him to speak. Waiting for Him to show up. Waiting for Him to set the agenda. The Quakers of old practiced a concept called centering down or spinning off. They discovered that when they got still to spend time with God, Their thoughts would race to random thoughts, such as errands to run, work to be done, etc. So they would capture that thought, make a plan to deal with it later, and spin it off. I keep a pad and pencil handy to jot down whatever random thought pops up. They would then turn their mind back towards centering down and being still. Silencing. In Isaiah 41.1, God tells us to listen in silence before me. Dan's dad taught him a great truth as a child. The one who knows the most in the conversation should do most of the talking. The one who knows the least in the conversation should do most of the listening. Wow, my prayer life does not follow that truth. Does yours? I tend to make God a list of the things I need him to do and especially the ones I need him to do ASAP. I tend to do the talking in my prayer time. I rarely take the time to just listen. The purpose of this daily time with God is not Bible study. It is not about prayer where I give God my list. It is not about meditation or memorization of the scriptures. It is simply time to be with God. It is time to stop, to center, and to silence your heart and mind before the Almighty. God will speak when we meet Him every day. God will show up when we slow down each day. God wants time with us and will reveal Himself to us when we meet Him on a daily basis. Let's pray. Father, I need to hear from you. Today, I make the commitment to start having a daily quiet time. I will listen for your voice above all of the other voices in my life. Lord, teach me how to center my life on you and help me obey what I hear you say. In Jesus' name, amen.